Today I have 10 drugstore or affordable dupes that I think rival or are better than the high-end or luxury products that they are duping. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the foundation I'm wearing on this half of my face, and that is the Dior Forever matte version. I do have oily combination skin, although I do talk about all types of foundations here on my channel. I do think this is a foundation that gives a very soft velvety matte finish that even dry skin could kind of get away with because it does apply very fluid and it doesn't give you know a heavy matte cakey appearance it looks nice and natural yet it doesn't get really shiny during the day and that is what i love about this and it reminded me a lot of another foundation that i like at a significantly better price point, and that is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. The texture is pretty much the same. They both give medium to medium full coverage and that nice natural finish that doesn't look masky, that prevents that shine from coming through. They feel good on the skin too. This is a drugstore foundation that I have loved for a really long time, and I was actually shocked at how close these two are in appearance and finish and feel and wear. They both wear really nicely on the skin too, especially in heat and humidity. I live in New Orleans. It's hot and humid here right now. Now I do have just natural light going on today, so I'm having some light fluctuations, which may make them look a little bit different, but I honestly cannot tell a difference. The shade match for both of the shades I have is even on point. I mean, I can't tell a difference. I do have all my shades linked over on my blog. If you ever need to reference it, you can keep it as a bookmark. I know it's helped a lot of you out. So that is my first dupe that I was extremely, extremely happy to discover. In several of my other dupe videos, I've given you some twofers, some two in ones. A dupe will remind me of two high-end products or I'll give you two dupes for one high-end product, that kind of thing. So I have a couple of those in this video and this is one of them. I don't even think I have fully expressed on my channel how much I love the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath. There's something about the minty feel to these and the nourishing factor and the fact that they do give a little bit of a tint to the lips. I just adore these and I find myself reaching for them all the time. And I've also talked many times on my channel about the City Lips Lip Plumping Glosses. I've gone through several tubes of these. These don't sting like a typical lip plumper and they do nourish and hydrate the lips and kind of hide all of those lines. I found a product that I feel like is kind of a combination of the two of these and that's the Pixi Lip Lift Max. Now I only have one shade in this and I don't think it's an exact dupe for any of these shades, but it has the mintiness to it of the Charlotte Tilbury. It has the plumping factor of the City Lips, not to the same extent, but it does get rid of the lip lines. It nourishes like a lip oil. I've been reaching for this almost every day since I got it. The shade that I have is Sweet Nectar, which is a great spring and summer shade, but it just kind of, you know, blends into the lips nicely. So I was very, very happy to discover this. I'm testing out a bunch of different under eye correctors right now. There will be more to come on that, but I found two that are so similar. I had to include them in this video. So the higher end that I tried is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in the shade Peach. It's a very lightweight brightening corrector for moderate discoloration underneath the eye. It does a really nice job and it's really, really lightweight. So then I tried the Kaja Catnap. This is a brand that I've never tried that's also available at Sephora, but it is $10 less. So if you like that type of lightweight brightening corrector that gives a little bit of correction just so you can use a little bit less concealer and so your concealer doesn't, you know, give you that gray cast, you're going to save some money by picking up the Kaja. And they're both really lightweight and they do offer a little bit of hydration. They're not drying at all. Under the eyes, they look identical. This was a nice little surprise that I stumbled upon. Another nice little surprise that I stumbled upon, which I'm not sure is appearing identical on my face right now just because of the lighting situation in my room, but I received this Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. 
in my Sephora birthday gift because my birthday was this month. Now when I got it, I thought it was gonna be kind of deep. It just appears that way. But you can see it just gives a nice brightening effect and it's got a little bit of a glow to it too. I've had really great luck with Milk Makeup Stick products. I just really like them. They apply very easily. I have the bronzer, I have a highlight from them too, and I've just loved them all. The blush is no different. I love the shade, it's very brightening. Last month I ordered a bunch of stuff from e.l.f. and one of the things that I ordered was this monochromatic multi-stick. It is in the shade Glimmering Guava, which I wouldn't think would be a dupe. When you look at them side by side, they really don't look alike at all. The e.l.f. has more coral to it. It even has a little bit of a glimmer to it. It just looks like it's gonna be a lot brighter than the Milk Makeup Stick. But somehow on the face, because of how the Milk Makeup Stick gives that glow and just appears brighter on the skin, they really give the same effect. I'm hoping that you can tell how similar they are with this lighting I have in here. This is the Milk, this is the e.l.f. I have loved a lot of things I have bought from e.l.f. lately, and I think this monochromatic multi-stick is great. I mean, you don't have to reserve it just for the cheek. You can apply it to other areas as well, but I think this is a great very surprising dupe. One of my favorite products in the entire world is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I've talked about these so many times on my channel. I'm on my second tube of this. It's perfect for those of you who get a little bit tan in the summer, but you don't wanna to have to buy a whole new foundation. If you're wanting just a little bit of a glow, you can add just a pump or two of this into your skincare and apply it to your face or your neck. It's so multi-use. It doesn't change the texture of those products or the finish, but it adds a beautiful glow and it has skincare benefits too. I've searched high and low for an exact dupe for this, and the closest that I've come is the e.l.f. Mix to Match Adjuster. Now, of course, it's in a smaller tube, but with either of these, you only use a tiny amount each time you use it. They're not made to be used by themselves. They're made to be mixed into other products. They're just so super easy. When you pump it out, it doesn't have the same sheen that the Drunk Elephant does, but the Drunk Elephant doesn't change the finish of the product, so that sheen, in my opinion, doesn't really matter. The shade of the product is a little bit different, but I really don't notice that when it's all mixed in and applied to the face and there are no skin benefiting properties to the elf it's just a basic mix-in shade adjuster and if that's what you need and that's what you're looking for then I think this is a great alternative type of dupe and it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run I've raved many times on my channel about certain shades of Armani eye tints specifically Cold Copper, which is one of my favorite one and done shadows of all time. I'm still hunting for a dupe. I have several here that I thought would work, but they just don't give that same effect. And another one that I rave about a lot since I discovered it is Rose Gold. I think it's absolutely stunning. It is what I have on this eye right here. I think it's beautiful. It's a very beautiful rose gold that you can wear on the daily that gives just a lovely, lovely shimmer to the lid without being glittery or too shimmery. So I found a dupe alternative. Let me see if I can mess with my light really quickly before I, I show it. Okay, I think that helped a little bit. So this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Socialite, and that's what I have on this eye. And it does have a little bit of a cooler undertone, but not so much that you're really gonna notice that much of a difference if you buy this instead of this. Of course they apply differently because this is a wand and this you use a finger. Now I do think this is not quite as age friendly if you have a lot of creases on your eyelids. Mine is starting to dry out so I was having some issues especially over the primer that I used on my eyelids today because it is a little bit more uh, stiff but you know if you use it over a naked lid if I use it over my regular primer it tends to perform a little bit better you're gonna save a lot of money this is a really really pretty rose gold shade you can just tap it on and blend it out in the crease one and done and you are done I'm gonna stick with this one and done theme but in a more glamorous way 
So uh, we've all heard of these Stila glittering glows. Is it glimmer or is it glitter? What is this thing called anyway? This is the, oh my God, where's the name? Glittering glow. I think there's glittering glows and shimmering glows. So the glittering glows are really great if you have a special night out, you know, like if you're going to like a fancy wedding or if it's New Year's Eve or something like that, these aren't necessarily products you're gonna wear, you know, to work. So a lot of people don't want to spend the money on these for special event type of products. I have here Peachy Sheen and Smoldering Satin. So in my e.l.f. haul that I talked about earlier in the video, I also just threw in this little e.l.f. guy from their retro collection in the shade Flirty Birdie, which gives that same effect that these give. Now it's not quite the dupe of either of these shades, but I really love the smoothness of this and the glittery effect that it gave. And I mean, you could save a lot of money for this type of product if you just picked up an e.l.f. one instead. I know everyone raves about MAC paint pots and I feel like I'm in the minority with them. I just feel like they kind of pick up on dry patches I don't know I have and just kind of emphasize some wrinkles that other eyeshadow primers don't emphasize. There's two shades in particular that people use a lot, Soft Ochre and I'm blanking out on the other one, I'll list them down below. But people that like these really, really like these a lot because of how well they work to hold shadow on and because they cancel out the discoloration so well. So I had the pleasure of trying these ColourPop cream shadows. The shades that I have are Bronco and Laurel. Bronco is the more yellow toned version and Laurel is the more pink toned version. And I feel like not only are these dupes for MAC paint pots, but I actually like them better because they don't make my eyelids look old. I kind of swirl my finger around in the paint pot a little bit to kind of warm up the product and then I apply it to my lid. It glides on easily, cancels out all the discoloration. It lasts on my lid really well, keeps everything on nicely. I usually use a different type of less heavy eyeshadow primer for cream shadows, but for regular shadows, I think these are phenomenal. I mean, I don't even have the paint pots here <laughs> to show you because I just don't like them. I got rid of them a long time ago, but I really like these. This is the second twofer of the video. So there's an eyeliner from Urban Decay 24 seven that I adore. I use it all the time. The shade is Demolition. It's a perfect neutral deep shade. That's kind of a cross between a dark gray and a deep brown. It's just perfect to wear with any look. So the product that I'm gonna show you is just a great dupe for this shade, but the formula really reminds me of the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. So I have the shade Smoke, which I'm not even sure they make anymore and cocoa. I mean, if you mix these two together, you could kind of get the same shade, but the formula is beautiful when used as a liner or a shadow. I kind of glide it against the lash line and then smudge it out with a pencil brush. It works beautifully. It lasts all day. It just looks really, really great. So I had the pleasure of trying out the Pixie Endless Shade Stick in the shade Matte Cocoa this month and was super impressed. I mean, it immediately reminded me of the Demolition shade and the formula. I just thought Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. It just reminded me of that so much. Now I do find I have to work with the Pixie more quickly than I do either of the ones I mentioned already because it sets more quickly. So if you're smudging it out, just be sure and do one eye at a time and just work pretty quickly. But aside from that, I mean, I have the Pixie on this eye and I have the Urban Decay on this eye. Now I don't know if I actually applied them evenly. It's just been one of those days, but they, applied very, very similarly when I was applying them. And the shade, I mean, I can't tell a difference. So I am loving these. I have a couple of other shades as well that I use for a shadow and the quality is really, really great. I haven't heard anybody really talk about this next product and I have been loving it and wearing it a ton all month. It will be in my monthly favorites. There's just something about it that I really love. Like I said, I do love these high-end products as well as the lower end counterparts. This is the Becca Hydrolite Plumping Lip Balm. Now, even though it says it's a plumping lip balm, I don't find this to be very plumping. It is what I have on the side of my lips. I love 
the way they smell. They have a scent that reminds me of something from my childhood and I cannot put my finger on it. If you have tried these and you know what it is, please, please let me know. It just takes me back, but I cannot figure out what the scent is. I find that right now with everything that's going on, I want a lip product that is either going to nourish and hydrate and soothe my lips, or I want something that's just gonna last a long time. And this is a product that really nourishes, soothes, and flatters my lips. It gives a tint and it's just got a really nice texture. It's not goopy and it doesn't slide off as much as like a gloss or a lip oil would. It's kind of just a hybrid of everything that I like in something nourishing on my lips. Immediately when I got it, the texture of it reminded me so much of the L'Oreal Colorish Shines. The shade I have on the side of my lips is Glossy Fawn. I don't think they're spot on, but this is more about the formula than anything else. These don't really have the scent to them, but they have that same creamy, light, plumping, nourishing texture of this higher end Becca product. So if you like that kind of nourishing formula that just hydrates your lips and gives them that, you know, glossy, pretty look that's not a gloss, I think that you know you would really like these if you haven't tried them already. I feel like everybody's tried these already, but maybe you've been hesitating on these or maybe you were gonna get this and you may wanna try this first. Now again, doesn't have that awesome scent, but I do think it's a great option for these. I mean, these are relatively new, so you may be eyeing them up and wanting to know what the formula is like and just really reminded me of this. I have several dupes videos. I'll have that playlist linked here for you so you can check those out if you haven't seen those videos. I'd also love to hear any dupes that you found in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and become part of the family. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.